This is the Vostok Amphibia Classic model 720073. This watch, despite being the simplest Vostok I own, is probably also my favorite. Now, this video isn't going to be a comprehensive review or tutorial, but I will show you why this Vostok is my favorite and also how I set up this watch for my personal use. Let's get into it. In my opinion, the simplicity in the packaging of Vostok watches also forms part of their appeal. It seems very utilitarian, it is not pretentious, and it does not make the watch appear to be something that it is not. At the end of the day, Vostok has its roots in the Soviet military, the amphibia itself is commissioned as a diver's watch, and this packaging really 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 contributes to the spirit of that. Now, this extends not only to the packaging itself, but also to the contents within the packaging. You simply get the watch itself, the manual and warranty papers. This bezel is a gift from uh, Vitali, so thank you. And you also have a clip that allows the watch to keep its shape inside the packaging. And that's it. I mean, what else do you need in the packaging of a watch? There's basically nothing that's superfluous, and this makes the packaging pretty compact, pretty lightweight, and pretty nice to store. Now, those of you who also own Vostok Amphibias and also the newer Commander skis will know that part of the reason why these watches have such amazing waterproofing performance despite their price is because of the domed acrylic crystal. However, while this domed acrylic crystal is very resistant to pressure and to shattering, it is also very prone to scratching. And the fact that it's dome shade means that scratches from daily use is almost an inevitability. This is why I install screen protectors on every single Vostok watch I own. You can find these quite easily on eBay and AliExpress. These are 31mm diameter TPU screen protectors. Let's install them. Firstly, you will want to expose the sticky side of the protective film. Then, you'd want to carefully center the film with the crystal of the watch before gently setting the sticky side of the film down onto the crystal of the watch. Now, press your finger down onto the center of the film before working your way towards the outer circumference. Do this carefully and slowly, and what this will do is hopefully adhere the protective film to the watch crystal while also squeezing all the air bubbles underneath the film out. Now, the protective film you just installed will keep all the scratches off the crystal of the watch, and even if the TPU film gets scratched, it buffs out really easy. Now let's also talk about the elephant in the room, that bracelet. The metallic bracelets on Vostok watches don't exactly have a good reputation. And for good reason. People tend to say that they are uncomfortable and that they pull out hairs. However, in the weeks that I've been wearing this watch with this metal bracelet, that hasn't occurred to me. And in fact, it's actually pretty comfortable to wear while sleeping or during a long flight. However, there are still two reasons why I've ultimately replaced this metal bracelet with a silicon one. Number one, the bracelet is quite heavy and dense and you really feel it when you're walking around with it on your arm. And number two, you cannot adjust the size of this bracelet without tools. When you first get the watch, you do have to knock links out of the bracelet using tools in order to make the bracelet fit for your size. And while the toolkits required for the job are quite cheap on AliExpress and other sites like that, it is still a hassle and a time-consuming process. Now, let me just briefly show you how I do it. First, don the watch and put the bracelet around your arm in order to estimate how many links you need to knock out in order to make the watch fit for size. Keep in mind that you may need to knock out links on both ends of the bracelet and that it is best to avoid any imbalance between the upper and lower chains of the bracelet in order to keep the bracelet buckle on the opposite side of the watch when the watch is on your arm and so that the bracelet itself is more pleasant to wear. Now it's time to break out the toolkit. Now these toolkits are pretty common and pretty cheap on sites like AliExpress and the tools that you'll need in particular are the bracelet pin punch tool and the soft mini hammer. The individual links on a bracelet typically have holes or channels for the retaining pins to go through and the reason why we need the blue pin punch here is to push those pins out. 
Once the retaining pins are out, we can simply remove the links of the bracelet in order to adjust the bracelet to fit for size. Let's get started! Once you've removed all the excess links, you can now put the bracelet back together by first connecting the two disconnected ends of the bracelet. Inserting the retaining pin back into its channel. And then using the soft mini hammer to hammer it back home. Once you're done, try on the watch and see if it's now fit to size. If it's too large or too small, you can always just knock out more links or put some back in. Now, you're ready to go out into the world with your Vostok Amphibia. Speaking of which, I've been wearing this watch in my daily life for the past several weeks since I've received it. And during that time, I have not once gotten tired of the aesthetics of the watch. Let's talk about it. Now, I received this watch as a gift from Vitaly in Russia. He's a watch seller, and he basically gave me a choice of all the Vostok watches in existence from an online catalog. I had the ability to choose the super complicated common skis as well as the more expensive and larger Vostok Amphibia models. But the 720073, with its pure black dial and white lettering, is what called out to me. There's just a beauty in its simplicity and elegance in its maturity. The large white numbers and the white branding text play nicely with the matte black background of the dial face, contributing nicely to both the aesthetics of the watch as well as the legibility of the text in all sorts of situations. And all of these work symbiotically with the watch's gorgeous bare metal brushed silver finish case and ultimately gives this watch a aesthetic profile that is both dashing, handsome, but also subdued and mature. This watch wouldn't feel out of place in a boardroom meeting, nor will it feel out of place in a sports event. In summary, in relation to its price, this watch's aesthetics punch well above its weight. Now all of the above work really well if the watch is viewed in bright lighting conditions, but what if it gets dark? Well, no problem at all. The Vostok 720073 has Loom that works surprisingly well for its price, and also surprisingly well for a Vostok. I have several Vostok Komodirskis, the waterproof type, but they don't have Loom that seems to glow this bright for this long. I'm not sure whether it's an Amphibia thing or whether or not Vostok has recently updated their Loom formula, but as it stands, the Loom on the 720073, while it may not be as nice as some of the more expensive brands, is still quite usable in the dark. Let me show you. Now, as with any Vostok, there's another elephant in the room that we need to get out of the way, and that is performance. My example of the Vostok 720073 is fast about 10 seconds a day, and the actual power reserve is more than 24 hours, but less than 48 hours. But then again, this is an automatic watch after all. This means your watch will wind itself up as you move your wrists as you walk around and do daily stuff. Hence, the reserve power only really becomes an issue if you stop wearing the watch for an extended period of time. All that being said, timekeeping performance is not why you buy a Vostok Amphibia. You buy it because it has value for money, because it has history, because it has style, and because it can do this. While waterproofing is not exactly an exclusive feature even at this price point, the Vostok Amphibia's 200 meter rated water resistance does put it at the top of its class in this price point. 
Furthermore, people with pressure rigs have tested this watch, and in those videos, I have seen Vosok amphibias stand their ground in water pressures equivalent to around 800 meters of depth. And just as a fun comparison, the Los Angeles class nuclear power fast attack submarine only has a crush depth of around 450 meters. While the Vostok Amphibia 720073 may not be an exceptional performer in the timekeeping department, it does however deliver spades of value in terms of aesthetics, in terms of waterproofing, in terms of its usable loom, and also in terms of its history, heritage, and overall style. While it is true that Vostok watches are by no means ultra premium exclusive watches, they are still quite an interesting niche watch outside of Russia, and having one on your wrist at your workplace does make you feel quite special and in some cases can even turn heads and start conversations. And due to their affordability as well as their more than acceptable craftsmanship, these Vostok watches also make a perfect gift for those that you want to get into the hobby of mechanical watches. And uh, alright, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this wonderful watch. It's very high value for money, definitely go get it. And i also like to thank Vitaly once again for sending me this watch for free as a gift. The links to Vitaly's web store as well as his Instagram page are in the description below. Please do feel free to check him out and if you don't see what you like on his storefront, you can always just contact him, tell him the exact model of the watch you want and he'll put together a custom order just for you. Alright, thank you so much for watching, signing off.